It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. So the, today's Friday's message is a vision for the future. And I don't have a scripture. Um, we just talking today. So one of the things that frustrates me, and this is me being honest, in my walk with Christ is I have visions um, and dreams that come to me, um, events that I'm supposed to do. I see um, dreams and visions of me in meetings with some amazing um, people, big people that I could never imagine. Um, I see me owning stuff and doing stuff. So it's just visions. God show me visions and speak to me and dreams and things like that and what frustrates me the most is that when i see a vision or if i have a dream about something today i want to jump on that thing today <laughs> if he show me a vision of a house i'm going on that house today and what frustrates me is most of the visions he give me is not a right now vision is a vision for the future um i think back to when we were trying to have our first child john jr um and i keep telling marcus I, I see a vision i see a dream of a baby i see a dream of a baby a baby boy and at this time we was trying but nothing was happening um because our timing is not god's timing and, I, and that was like a year before I even got pregnant. I was just seeing the vision. I was seeing the baby. But when I saw the vision, I was like, okay, right now, let's go. Let's, you know, I done went through a million pregnancy tests because I see the vision. I see it, Lord. I see you telling me I'm going to have a baby. I see it's going to be a little boy. And it wasn't for a right now vision. And at one point, it used to frustrate me. I'm like, Lord, why why even show me a vision? And you know I'm going to act on it right now. Like, <laughs> patience is not my strong suit. So... I mean, I got a whole lot, well, I ain't gonna say a whole lot better because I'll be lying. I got better at it, um, but I got a, still a long way to go when it comes to patience. I am not the best when it comes to patience. I want something, I want it, and especially with a vision or a dream that excites me, um, it looks successful, it's something that I already have a desire to do that I just want to jump on it right then and there. Um, so it used to frustrate me, I used to ask God, you know, why why give me the vision today if the vision is not until five or ten years down the line or the vision is not until the near future and i heard because i need to show you the direction i'm taking you in the future this is what i'm molding and preparing you for i can't give it to you right now because you wouldn't know how to handle it you wouldn't know what to do with it so i'm preparing you i'm molding you to prepare you for for these meetings and these visions and these businesses that i'm showing you that i have for you i can't give it to you right now that's just like i um people always use the scenario you can't let a baby drive the car they don't know how they don't know how to drive they don't know how to get behind the wheel they don't know how to handle it so you have they have to grow up they have to be knowledgeable they have to gain some wisdom and insight about being behind the wheel before they can get there well that's the same way with god and and, and visions that he give us it might not be a vision right now now some visions he give me is right now but most of, of the big goals and the big visions that i have is not for right now it's in the future and he's showing me i don't need you stagnated and and down and out over this little issue that you're dealing with right now because that's petty compared to where i'm about to take you that's little compared to the, the the dreams and the visions and stuff that i have that i'm preparing you for that's petty so yes i'm showing you now so so you can get a glimpse of what and what the goal is in the future so you can see my plans for you this is what we're working towards so don't get stagnated don't get comfortable in this season right here because this season is molding you for what i've shown you for the future so that's all I had today. If you're like me and you have visions and you have dreams and you're wondering when they go happen because you ain't got the first two pennies to put together, <laughs> like me, like I had a post and I'm going to get this on a t-shirt. Um, a girl with big dreams, little money, but a whole lot of faith. Like that's all it's taking me is my faith because I don't got the first dollar um, 
to put towards it but i see the vision and i see where god taking me and that right there is enough for me to hold on to because although i don't have two pennies something always work and always make a way or always come out the woodworks um when it's god time and not ours i know that for personal experience especially with the situation with our house all kind of things start coming out the woodworks um so if god give you a vision it may not be a right now vision but at least it's a vision that you see in the future so you can see the direction and where you're headed down the line it's frustrating it is frustrating but you hold on and you use every step that you're going through in life as a molding process to get you to that next level so that's all i have for you guys um i do want to say i am working on some table of wisdom events um now that i know the issue is headphones uh, i am going to reschedule homeowners uh table wisdom because that was static in before so i'm re um rescheduling that i'm going to do a part two to why the millennials are leaving to the church um and we're going to do the domestic violence one again and then i got some other topics that's coming up in the near future so y'all just hold tight um we have something coming up for mother's day uh, where we just want to pamper the moms and show that they are appreciated. So y'all stay tuned for that when I get the flyer done. That will be up soon. And I think that's it, you guys. Alright, I hope y'all have a good weekend. Bye!